Okay, welcome back to Heroes 3 as we continue on the Castle Crusade, and I think it's become kind of obvious that we probably shouldn't go for the Tower Town. I really do want it for the extra spells, but uh, we have quite a few massive threats lurking outside our starting zone. So we have, of course, got Marius, uh, we've got Alima, who's probably the biggest threat of them all, and in fact, she is actually the... Um, it's the wrong screen. She's actually the starting hero of Pink, so probably one of the strongest heroes on the map. Um, it's not just the pack of Archdevils, it's lots of Ifrit Sultans, um, a swarm of familiars, only a horde of Magogs, but that's pretty much an army that's been completely undisturbed and building up this entire time. And then just above ground we've also got Damakin, and over towards our Necropolis base we've got Gernison. So quite a few opponents that we can take on, and they're all within maybe one or two turns reach if we use Town Portal. And now that Straker has taken our town and done a lot of damage to us with um, Dimension Door, we can pretty much use Town Portal completely guilt-free according to my own rules. So let's go for that straight away, let's go for Ghost Wind. And this is a little further away than I thought. Um, but yeah, I'm not even going to bother picking up reinforcements because I think it's a waste of spell points and it's a waste of movement points. I really think we can just do this pretty easily. So we're expected to lose an Archangel here, I don't think we need to. Um, not the most... Not the most obvious targets for Meteor Shower. If we do 750 points of damage, that actually doesn't quite kill them off. So both stacks would survive with one. Still kind of tempting though. So what else could we do? We could go for Mass Slow, we could go for... Go for clone, possibly. So these guys actually won't get a kill if they go for an attack either. Um, I think I do just prefer going for Meteor Shower. So, gone for that, we'll go for these next. And these guys, 46 Horn Demons, that's pretty serious. I suppose if we go for this, we've actually trapped them in, so they'll be forced to attack with the Magogs. Um, they'll be forced to friendly fire. No, they won't, because they can just hit us at the back. Okay, that doesn't really work. Maybe I will go for the Magogs in that case. Okay, so he shields those. Those are his most threatening stack, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, we need to try and keep these guys alive, but... Okay, so we've lost our first Archangel. Don't think that bothers me too much. Yeah, if I just go for Meteor Shower again... And a lot of damage to those, we'll go for these. Resurrect these, and he flees. Okay, so that cost us about a quarter of our spell points, which is not ideal. But, I have to bear in mind that once we go back to this town, we can just go to the west and we can visit this magic well at any time. So that should be fine. I do want to go for this. I think it's two steps away. Let's do it. Got ourselves a 21 attack. Jump across to here. I know I did... um. Build up a few defenders here last turn, but I think it's just too obvious that we should go and attack um, instead of leaving it to Terek, who would probably probably lose, to be honest. Could take the Gorgons. But I don't think I need to. I'm going to leave them for a backup hero, and I'm just going to go straight for this. No losses expected. I could play that out, but I, I think it's fine. And then we can't really reach Elima. Could go for the magic well. Okay, so I suppose I, I should have perhaps played that out just because I think auto combat doesn't take spells into account. Don't think it changes the outcome at all because we're obviously the better spellcaster than they are, but um, I think for the fight with Alima, we'll definitely play that out regardless of what quick combat says. Cut the bit, we're going to send up to the windmill. I'm going to send this guy up to here and we're going to move towards the rampart base. Maybe I should stop off here first. Problem with this is it's it's not too far from Straker, and he could turn back. So other options, we can send Terek out and we can actually pick up a few extra war machines, pass them on to Linus next turn, let's do it. Don't really need these, but they do kind of work as fodder, as uh, actually they've run out. I don't actually know how long it takes them to regenerate, I never really thought about it. Okay, well we have a first aid tent that we can pass on. Uh, we've got Caitlyn here who can pick this up. And need to be a little bit careful because Damakin can travel quite far. 
but it's probably still safe to go a little bit closer. And then Edric is going to go towards this. Did already pick that one up. And uh, we're going to tuck Ingham into the town, and we're going to bring Edric up because before I forget, Edric doesn't have a spellbook, and if we do start using him, um, obviously he's going to need a spellbook. Also, he does have basic earth magic, so I think he's kind of an obvious choice to start building up as a backup hero. And then going back to our rampart town, we're going to pick up one more dragon. Uh, we're going to step Brister out of the town. I could have done this in the previous part, but I think it's fine to do it now as well. Um, I think this is a pretty doable target. Throng of Iron Golems, Dragonfly Hive, and a Pandora's Box. No obvious threat nearby. So, let's go for it. I'm going to visit this first too, just in case. Nothing there. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much all our gold spent. I don't think there are any other threats nearby, so let's just end the turn and see what happens. That's Charna, she's very weak of course. Uh, Straker is starting to come towards Orin and wow, he gets really close. I don't actually know if Orin can run from that. But we can Town Portal back with Linus if we need to, as they wow, they're all coming for Orin. And Damakin is going straight for our base and wow, gets really close. Okay, so Edric nearly died. So I think in this case, it's probably actually faster if we just town portal and don't go for the magic well. Realistically, so we're going to pass some of this stuff over. Oh, perhaps the reason I couldn't pick them up was because I already had them. That's the only explanation I have because Otherwise, I don't know how long it usually takes them to regenerate. But yeah, this guy has some pretty good spells, so... He's actually a pretty good choice as a kind of backup hero. Um, the Mighty Gorgons are certainly tempting, but... I think we probably just end up having to resurrect them, so... I don't think I'll go for that. Yeah, this seems fine. Um, I don't need Firewall, so I'm just going to pass it over. And yeah, we're going to go straight across to Cornerstone, defend our main town, we're going to go straight for Damakon, but first we're going to pick up three of these. That takes us up to eight in each stack, and we could probably upgrade this too, it wouldn't be too expensive. Okay, so a stack of nine and a stack of eight, that should be enough. We've also got just enough in the bank to, um, I will give these guys a chance. We got just enough in the bank to um, buy Edric a spellbook too. Okay, so meteor shower targets. We're not going to do much to the iron golems. I think we'll just do this. Well, oh, they actually survive. Surprised by that. Go for these next. Ah, uh, they survive pretty handily too. So I could probably wipe these out easily, in fact. Um, I don't really want them to buff anything, but still think the Nagas are the better target. Okay, so let's check out the HP situation. Uh, we've got... I forgot we had first aid. Yeah, that's one of those little pieces of knowledge that very much disappeared um, while I wasn't playing. First aid skill. It's, uh, it's not useless. I think we go for these next, although... We go for this. Ah, I thought I could get all three stacks at once, but not quite. Well, let's go for these two. These guys have 187 HP. Uh, and we take Damakin out completely, so he doesn't get to flee. We take all of his artifacts, which it turns out he doesn't have too much. And we can go straight onto a Lima. We've only got 104 spell points, which is maybe not quite the amount I would want. I'm going to go for just one big Doom stack so we can hit those Arch Devils as hard as possible. I would really like more spell points, but I'm going to go for this. 
just because I think it's more fun. Okay, so pretty heavy losses expected. Let's see what I can do. The 104 spell points. So again, there's um, no stack of three that I can go for with, uh, with Meteor Shower. I implode these. Yeah, let's do that. Need to make sure I have enough for one resurrection. Okay, so Ballista just about holding out. We've lost a few. Uh, he goes for blind. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this might have been a mistake. They're really going to finish off anti-magic too. Let's see. So, 15 Archangels. So I could clone them, and then I can resurrect using the clone. But I think it's more efficient just to use this ourselves. That's 16 spell points, this is 20, and obviously they'll just kill off the clone. Um, but I will be able to waste one of their turns. So I could still go for an implosion. Definitely. Can't keep myself safe from these. There's 286 of them, of course they're extremely weak creatures, but... I still don't want to mess with that too much. Uh, can I keep myself safe from these? Definitely. These guys too. And these guys too. So yeah, if we go for this, these guys can hit us, but that's fine. I might actually go for shield, just because it's only four spell points. She shouldn't flee. Yet. If she flees, that's a big problem because we've lost a few Archangels, but I think it's worth the risk for one more round. There we go, so she's not going to flee yet. Next round begins. Let's resurrect. Go for these. Okay, so she dispels, but we've still got 17. Still holding out fine. These guys do get morale, I think we will take a loss. Yep. She still doesn't flee. Okay, so... At this point... Clone is very tempting. But no, I think Resurrection should be fine. We shouldn't really take any more losses. Bigger threat out of these two is probably these. She is almost certainly going to flee. So perhaps with these guys being in full health, I want to wait first. She wastes her turn doing that. These guys can't reach us. Okay, so now we get two turns in a row. I think we go for these. Next round begins. How good is this? 290 points of damage, that is going to kill... ...easily 10 of them. And she does actually have some kind of um, health boosting artifact too. So we'll take that, Vial of Lifeblood. Armor of Wonder. And we get a level for that. Okay, so that's three massive threats. Immediately out of the way. Okay, so with that out of the way, next step is we're going to see how close Caitlyn can get. And the answer is nowhere near close enough. Um, so what can we do instead? So I think we should tuck someone into a town. I think Sorg would be the best choice for that. So we're going to send Sorg into the town, tuck him in there, and then we're going to go over to Ingham. We're going to send Ingham round. We're going to pick up anything we don't need on Linus, so I'm tempted to hang on to the Armor of Wonder because you never know, if we could somehow end up with the um, Angel's Alliance, whatever it's called, if we could somehow end up with that, that would be a fantastic way to conclude the run. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, but still. I'm actually going to take this off him because we 
We actually don't want that because that's actually going to interrupt the um, the resurrection from the Archangels. Uh, so we don't want that, and since we're taking that off, we should also take this. And if we can at some point find the third artifact for the um, Elixir of Life, that would be fantastic. Uh, other things we don't need, we obviously don't need this stuff. I mean, I'm not sure it's going to help uh, Ingham too much either. Potentially at some point we could pass all this stuff over to um, Edric. This thing's okay. Let's take it. Oh, it's a cloak. Okay, I think I'll actually take that then. I thought that was, um, yeah, I thought that was uh, the breastplate thing. Okay. Uh, we don't need this, obviously. We're going to drop that in here. That also looks like a necklace. There are so many artifacts in this game that just look like they should go on completely different body parts. Uh, protection from fire, obviously we don't want that. That doesn't really matter to us too much. Charm of mana. I suppose we could use it, but let's leave it for now. Let's take this too. And... Let's take this. Curse spell immunity versus plus one duration. I think we'll go for the plus one duration. Don't need these. Although... Got to be better from these. These are literally useless to us. Okay, so that's something I should have been wearing already, but now we are. Uh, so Loinus is going to be really good next turn. We're going to pass these excess artifacts over to Edric. I'm going to actually... I am going to take this too. And we don't need View Earth either. Okay, so with all of that done, let's move back towards the base. Let's send Edric into the base. Let's make sure we don't forget to pick up the Spellbook. And I would really like to start buying some of these units. I've kind of spread myself a bit too thin in terms of my funds. This is just a huge army waiting to be built, so if we can do that at some point that'd be great. Um, I don't think Loinus needs them. Loinus doesn't really need 17 Archangels either, but I think we might as well take them. So Pink is still very strong. Pink is probably the player who's been the most undisturbed by us for the whole game. So. They probably still got a few threats up their sleeve. Um, Orange has already got Marius back. Okay, so Loinus is now going to jump across to Wise Oak, and our mission here is just to try and keep Orin alive, uh, because Marius is right there, Straker is right there. Both of them are strong. Both of them are their respective players' strongest heroes. Should we stop off at this first? Kind of tempting fate, but I want to do it. Okay, so they could probably maybe chase me down, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Loinus is going to stay here for the turn. I don't think there's anything else he can do that's in easy reach. Cuthbert, I think we might as well just send to this base. Not really too much else he can do. We can go scout a bit, so we might as well go do that. Go get some gold. Terek should probably move back. He's got an okay force. I'm gonna go towards this. And then Brissa, four dragons versus a throng of iron golems. This could actually be a mistake, but I feel like it's... oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear, okay. I might have messed up here. A throng is more than I thought. That's really a lot. And I can't really buff my own units. So what can I do? I can blind things for 9 rounds, then it doesn't work because they, they're immune to mind spells. Um, I've not got great options here. Really not got great options. I'm actually tempted by landmine. I'm gonna go for landmine. I'm not sure how much those are gonna do, but they're at least not immune to them. So let's see what happens. 28 damage. That's uh, it's not terrible. It's not great either. Okay, so we're going to do about 380 damage. 
And yeah, let's go for these first. Okay, so we lost about 50 HP for that. Now we need to move back. I think we probably still do want to cast this. Um, alternatives would be Ice Bolt for 190 points of damage, but they're going to resist most of that. So that's going to go down to... Yeah, I still think Landmine is probably just about the most efficient spell. But yeah, this is a, this is a mistake. Let's see if we can hang on to these four dragons. Okay, so this fight is going to be fairly straightforward. It's going to be me trying to kite these and it might just not work. Um, but I'm probably going to speed this up because I don't know if this is winnable and um, it's probably going to take quite a long time to maneuver this as best I can. So let's speed this up and let's see what happens. Okay, well this fight ended up being so painfully long that I, I'm not sure I can even time lapse it. 80 rounds. Um, I managed to save two of them. But yeah, that was a mistake. That was uh Wow. A throng. I thought a throng was like... Well, I guess it can be up to 250, I believe. So, that's a really high throng. I was expecting more like 100, maybe 120. That sucked. That was not fun. Um, advanced Earth Magic, yes, let's do it, and let's hope this is something worth it. 5,000 XP, yeah, that's uh, that's really disappointing. Can I even do this now? Let's see. Well, I've, I've spent all my spell points pretty pointlessly, so... I'm not sure I even want to try. Lots of dragonflies. That seems doable in theory. In theory. But, 4 attack, 2 defense. I don't really need the Wyverns. Realistically, probably not going to end up using them. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave that be. We're going to pretend that never happened because uh, everything was going really well up to that point. And then, yeah, that wasn't fun. Still, I think we've done about all we can for this turn. So let's just end that there and let's see what they do next. So, Straker decides not to go for us. Yeah, I think now that Loinus has shown up, assuming they can see him, which I'm pretty sure they can, uh, they're just not going to come to me. Yep, so Marius is also backing off. That's fine, that kind of means I have the choice now of where I want to go. It's kind of up to me. Problem is, as soon as I leave the Rampart Town, they're probably going to come and attack that instead. But still, that's fine. I think... I could even go and try and chase them down, and while I'm here... Hmm. I could give Orin a force. But no, I think Orin's a bit too weak. This is a classic example of a situation where I could probably save up some gold to actually invest in uh, my castle town. Or my second castle town, once I get it. Can't remember where this goes. Let's check it out. I think it goes underground. No, it goes here. Okay. Well... That doesn't really change things. 
I'm just going to go straight past this. If I go underground, that takes me to a new place. The new place has the Ring of Life. The Ring of Life is not the one we need. Okay, so not that bothered by that. It does lead to Blue's main base, but I think it makes more sense if we actually try and chase Straker down. That's got to be the main target. Also, of course, we do have the Dragon Utopia here, which does, of course, make sense as a target. Uh, I'm actually going to give... I'm going to give some units to Orin. And we're going to use Orin just to take a small detour. We're going to hit this. And it's empty. Okay, worth a go. And let's move straight through. Let's hit this. I think I can split here, and I shouldn't need to use any spell points. Yeah, so that's an easy win. Okay, so Lion Shield of Courage, Tome of Air Magic, and Dragon Scale Armor, and 50k. So, I mean, that's pretty huge. Let's actually put some of this stuff on, so definitely don't need haste anymore. This I'm sure is, yeah, plus 5 attack. Effectively plus 9 attack, plus 9 stats anyway, uh, plus 4 to each of our skills, this is plus 9 effectively. Alright, so we'll take that off, this is plus 4 to 2, this is plus 5 to 1, let's go for that. Okay, so we just need the Sword of Judgment, and I'm sure there's one or two more for the, um, the Angelic Alliance, but I can't remember. Probably not going to happen, but still, good to have some of this stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to give some of it to Orin. So let's see, we don't need this. We don't need this. Don't need this anymore, don't need this, and almost certainly don't need this. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so we now have Dimension Door, Bly, Town Portal, a lot of money. It's looking good. It's looking really good. Um, I'm not going to wrap up the episode just yet. I think we can still go and hunt someone down. Need to decide where to spend the 50k. I think the obvious place is right here. Actually try and set off a second hero. So I'm tempted by Edric for that. But I'm uh, not sure where I'm going to send him. Still, let's do it. Let's get five of these. Let's bring Caitlyn back round. Go pick these up. Okay, we don't need the dragonflies anymore. We're going to hand all of these over. I'm going to hand these over too. Jump back in this town. And then let's upgrade these. Let's buy... Torn between the champions and the crusaders. I did of course say I really want to get myself a nice crusader power stack. Um, but I think 29 champions is hard to turn down. Uh, with this being Edric, we could go for a big griffin power stack. Problem is, it probably just ends up dying. Although we do have 7 archangels to help keep it alive. Um, but then again, this has got to be more useful. 83 of these, we resurrect them. Let's actually check this. So these have 35 HP each. These guys are going to resurrect 100 each. So they could bring quite a few back. If we're going to be attacking towns, we do want flyers. Let's go for the griffins. And the other 2k, I think I will just leave B for now. Okay, so I'm not sure this is going to be a great force, but at the same time... It's got to be good enough to take some low-hanging fruit, so let's start moving in this direction. Chan is a bit too easy of a target, I think. There is some stuff around here, so let's actually go and open some of that up. Uh, Cuthbert's going to go to this. 
And then, yeah, we do have someone approaching. So Gretchen's approaching. Not too strong. Serena also pretty weak, but both stronger than Cuthbert. So Cuthbert probably needs to fall back. And then Brissa we're going to send back to base. Don't need the Dragonfly Hive, it's fine. Let's just ignore it. I will recruit a Gold Dragon next turn. I'm going to send you up to this. Probably don't need that stuff, but might as well stock up while I'm here. And we'll move to this. Move back to this. I suppose I could combine these forces with... Edric's forces, and that could actually work. They're not too far from each other. Yeah, that's potentially something to do. Something else to do is to... Think about mage guilds. The thing is, we do already have level 5 spells of just about everything we want, so it's not too important. I'm going to Dimension Door in this direction. Then we'll do it again. And we jump through. And we've made it to Straker, let's get our revenge. So I will give him the chance to cast some spells. I'm going to go for me to share on these three stacks. Uh, actually, he manages to resist with these. We're going to do 1.2k damage. They have exactly 1.2k health. Let's go for it. And he is probably going to flee the second he gets the turn, so I might actually wait. Goes for slow. Okay, let's hope we don't lose one. It's fine if we do, we can just resurrect. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So if we go for something like Lightning Bolt, 700 points of damage. Those are gone. We go for these. And we've taken out Straker. So we've got the Celestial Necklace of Bliss. That's one of the ones we need for the, um, the Angelic Alliance. The uh, Dimension Door Scroll, which is how he got us before. Ring of the Wayfarer. Crest of Valor. Lots of stuff. Definitely their best hero. Okay, so that's Straker gone. Uh, that's several other of their best heroes gone. And we're now in a really good position to go and start taking their towns. Um, I have moved as far as I can for this turn. So let's just end the turn. Let's see what happens. So these two green heroes are actually pretty strong. They're not the kind of strong that's going to threaten Loinus, but still. Yeah, so it, it almost looks like they're moving to attack, but shouldn't actually be a problem. This could be a threat. Let's have a look. Yeah, kind of a threat. Kind of thing Edric could deal with though, so Loinus is still free to go and attack. Let's go do that right now. So we can't actually make it to town itself. I suppose we might as well see if we can get the Orb of the Firmament, or we could even go for this. I think this way we can at least guarantee we can reach. Um, I'm sure I'm meant to be fighting these, so I will I will go take them on. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be a lot to scroll through. First of all, let's equip this. This is really good too. Let's put that on. Talisman of Mana. Yeah, so we could actually get very close to getting a couple of uh, combination artifacts. So Orb of the Firmament, we definitely want to equip. This thing, I think... Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Let's take that off. Okay, so we now have a really strong Chain Lightning. We can go for this. Shouldn't need to play that one out. We're going to hop into the town. Going to check out the Mage Guild. Nothing too great there. We're going to go for the Order of Fire. Get ourselves even stronger. And at this point, 
we can probably just start hunting everyone down. So I'm going to leave that for next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I imagine this is probably a kind of short episode, but um, I did do a, a 70 round grind. So it's felt kind of long to me. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.